you started. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna keep doing that. I don't really care. All right. So first thing we'll go over. Um, activity. Uh, obviously, that's the main thing we want. We want to play VR. We want to do all this right now. Um, really, I mean, I can use that okay. Just I think some of y'all can get on a little bit more. I've seen some dude all the way. You know, I've put the request if it's longer than you know, I think it's a month, I believe. You know, just uh, let us know. Like if it's something like you know serious that you need to go away for more than a month, then just let us know. But yeah. <clears throat> really all about that. Let's air the junk a little bit. Let's get that. Let's get that good over with. Um, professional again. Honestly, you know, y'all need to stay personal. I don't care if the kid is, you know, five years old playing GTA and just doing stupid shit, you know, being a dickhead, you know. Be professional because you don't know if he's recording, you don't know if he's just chilling and then you get on TikTok and all that, you know. Stay professional, you know, don't be, you know, dickhead to everyone. Um, try and stay in character as well when you're in staff sits, obviously. Um, refer to yourself as government or God, that's, I, I don't care. Just try and keep it in character, that way, it, you know, it, it puts a better look on your shoulder when you're, you know, doing staff sits and whatnot. Next thing, um, when you're not on their staff, this goes to every one in the on the server, LEOs, SD, whatever. Um, when we're on, when you're not on their staff or whatever, please don't be fucking around. Actually, RP, because what we are trying to hopefully do is I'm still trying to work things out. Is we're trying to get a somewhat of a white list, okay? Kind of like sort of like civilian. Um, in a sense where they'll have more access than regular members. Regular members will have access to pistols, that's it. And then they'll have certain classes of, I haven't worked it out yet, but that's what we're trying to do, okay? Um, so we, how the heck can I say this? Um, stop fucking around, okay? I don't care, I, if it's like just you and one other person on, I don't really care that much. But if it's like, you know, we got five, ten players on, please do not fuck around. We will just blow it up. Please do not. Alright, it's it's annoying and it doesn't make any sense at all. Alright. Uh Aaron Jones, why don't y'all get him for that? Other than I have a whole line line of script to talk about for myself. What have you gone over? Uh, have you just gone over the entirety of what we put in the uh, which one call it? First, first few lines. First few lines. Okay. So pretty much, um, with everything changing from our last predecessors, just gonna follow. Gonna follow the script. Sorry about that. Follow the script here until I get to what I was gonna talk about. Um, we've got a lot of changes coming. So one of the things that we wanted to kind of talk about is. The chain of command has changed a little bit. Um, I have stepped down from the staff side a little bit. Um, of course, if Jackson's not available, Jackson will be fine with me helping out a little bit. It, there shouldn't be much of an issue there. I'm actually going to try and focus more towards the actual advertising and, you know, more kind of media team side of it. That way we can get, you know, TikTok and stuff like that rolling out. If you want to apply, the application should be out by tonight. Um, also, staff sits. Staff sits are very big, important kind of thing. Same thing as a server meeting, except for with one person. You want to be very professional. You don't want to curse at them. You don't want to, you know, treat them like a bad person. They broke a rule. Be professional about it. Say, hey, look, you know, this is a server rule. If they don't understand it. Explain the rule to them. Tell them to refer to the rules. Jackson, mute your mic. And try and learn from their mistakes. It's the same thing as if you get in school, you'll get a slap on the wrist for a warning, kicks, and then... My personal thing is try to not ban them if at all possible. If they're not a modder, if they're not throwing slurs like it's crazy, if they're not, you know, just killing everyone they see, try not to ban them. I mean, of course, if they keep doing and doing and doing and doing and doing and doing, yeah, go ahead and ban them. But try to avoid those permanent bans because we got to run this like a business. The less, the less people here, the less money that we can make. Um, another thing is 
try to let them finish their RPs if you can, you know. Let what? Me add, it, what? Let me add to that. Uh, what's the content that I want? Stop touching stuff, Fox, or whoever you are. Uh, let me add to what you, the um, stats are connected. Um, when, whenever you, what, what's his new member in, right? He has a noble pilot, and he thought it was a GQ online, whatever, you know. Just explain to him kind of what it is, you know, because like when I when I was on his LEO one time, I asked him, and he was I like I, I was like, hey, can you put the names of life skills? Like, how do I do that? And I asked him, I did break character. I'll admit that we all break character sometimes, but I asked, him, I was like, are you five zero? He was like, yeah. So then what I did, I stopped the scene and explained to him, you know, how this river works, you know, how things run, how you do this, how you do that, um, and whatnot. Uh, I can I can go ahead and reiterate what you're saying in a yeah, more exactly. different way. Basically, LEOs and staff, more so staff, are the biggest thing seen on the server when somebody comes into the server. Um, as a staff member, your job, what you sign up for, you need to help the community. If your job isn't to assist in the community, let me know and we'll go ahead and have your tags removed. Because we are here to make the community run better. Even though we're not all developers here, we all have a role to make the community run better. Staff is with players. If a player doesn't know a rule, explain it to them. If a player needs help because, let's say, they're stuck in a wall, go over there and pull them out of the wall. I mean, try and assist the community any way you can. Because when it comes to staff, that's your first job. And RPing is your second. I mean, it's staff, LEO, and then Civ. That's how you should run You know your hours, how you should do your job. Staff, it's hard to track the activity, but we generally know who's active, who isn't. There's a kind of general consistency. Um, again, with you know the tickets, I know I talked about this about I think four or five days ago, maybe a week. When somebody is responding to a ticket, unless that staff member immediately doesn't respond to the other player, don't talk in the ticket. If Jackson makes a ticket because he wants to, um, he wants to get the F5 menu or he needs help with a developer, and a developer is already assisting him, don't go in the chat and start talking. Or if another staff member is helping a player, don't don't interrupt. It, it ruins the flow. Try and let the one person talk, and if the actual you know person who needs help is not getting a response from the other person, then you step in. Or if you want to talk to that staff member, there's DMs and there's the staff chat at them. Say, hey, or ping them, I'm sorry. What? No, use staff chat. Ping them. Don't don't open a ticket. Staff members should not be opening tickets unless it's a donor. If if a, st a staff members, we have a staff chat. You don't need a don't. You don't need a staff. You don't need a ticket. If or you want to donate, high staff tickets and donator tickets are different. If you have a donation, that's where you do it. You know, hey, you buy the fifty-five dollar, you know, big bazooka. We'll just say, and then you make a donator support ticket if you have inquiries about that. And high staff tickets, if you need to report another staff member, those are useful. Um, or just DMing Jackson. Jackson is your first guy you want to go to now for staff. Then Fox. Then it'll go to, um, what's his face? Um, Joe. But you should never, ever go to Joe unless referred to by Fox. And don't go to Fox unless you're referred to by Jackson or me. Um, and if you have a question about becoming a staff trainer or any staff trainings, how they work, how you do them, or possibly wanting to be a staff trainer. Aaron runs the staff, uh, the staff trainer team. That's a separate side of the team that doesn't, he does every part of that. That's, that's a him thing. If you want to ask about that, that's a him. Who outruns, blah, 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 blah. Um, where are we, where are we at, Jackson? Discord tickets. Oh, OOC. In chat, the only, you should, if you see a player or anybody talking in chat that is an RP, stop them. Do not let that shit go, because when that screen pops up, that kind of ruins the emo immersion of the entire RP, makes it kind of feel weird. Um, if admin chat's a little different. Try to keep that on the minimal, but, you know, if you need to, hey, this player is doing this, that, and the other, let them know. Um, also, with that panel, you can put notes. Notes are a big thing you want to use. You know, see something like that, blah, 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 put, you know, let staff members know via the notes, admin chat. 
so please mention when you made the bed. Like, I, I, I'm not, does it have a date automatically on my single bed? You could put a date. Yes, please put a date so that way we know and we can look at the date and maybe, if you can, add the kick or ban uh, case, the, the little number that looks like whatever. So that way, that, that way we know which note you're talking about. Because if we have like five notes on there, I'm not sure which one that is. I'd have to read through all of them. But if you put case number, the little blah, blah, blah date, 12, 8, 2021, then like, okay, this is what it was, you know? So that way I don't have to look through and figure out which note it is or which one it's associated with. Keep in mind, there is head of staff notes. Just letting you know, me and Jackson and our entire high staff team can make notes about you. Because Jackson's a little slow. We'll show you how to do that later. Did you do it for already... staff overview. Say again? Did you do it for staff overview. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that later. Um, like I said, OC, you know, using chat for its purpose. Honestly, you should only be using slash me and slash do for chat. Pretty much the entirety of the thing. Oh, Jackson, give him access to the, the notes. Who? Ken? Ken. Yeah, yeah just make, make it public. Just make it public. Whatever. Okay, oh, well, then, I don't know what he's talking about then. But, uh, um, that kind of covers the staff portion, other than a few other things that we might go back to. Kind of going to just talk about some of the actual server changes. Like I said, I've stepped down from the staff portion. I'm going to run the social media portion. The advertising portion. Um, welcome, Ken. Ken is back developing. He's going to help Jones develop. They're going to work all that stuff out. Ken's already made a lot of good changes so far. So far, we're looking at good, you know, a good portion of development ahead. Um, another thing is, gradually, Fox, he's now no longer the server manager. He's the head admin slash manager of the entire server. It's just an, it's a rebrand of the name, but a higher position. Well, we got rid of board of directors. No longer a thing. Pretty much, that's kind of what he replaced in a way. Weird kind of stuff, but congratulations on your promotion, Fox. Um, next thing is, oh, I just lost my track. Where was I at? Right here, I think. No, I'm right there, but there's an, I don't know what you mean by this one, but. Uh, just explain what we're trying to do. Oh, yeah, I remember so, we yeah, yeah. So, certified civilian. We're bringing that back in a ton of different style. Um, at least from what I was told, they said that it was kind of like a PGN style in a way, but like re uh, redid and to make it look better, something like that. I'll just explain to you what I understand. So there's going to be three tiers of uh, certified civilian. There's going to be pretty much your base rank, which when, uh, when you apply, you'll get le oh, level one, level two, and level three. Um, that's uh, And for the question from Rogers, that's going to be civilian... Certified Civilian uh, uh, Operations Team. Ugh. Or not Certified Civilian. CivOps. Uh, CivOps Management. There we go. Couldn't speak for a second. Um, so far, the kind of idea what we're going to kind of do is we're going to, you know, weapons are going to be kind of limited until you reach Tier 2. Um, bigger priorities might be get limited, like rank robberies. That way we see less of those and they're be a lot better. Lock them to like 2 or 3. Stuff like that. Um, ad rev might be added to the third one, but that's one that we're kind of talking about. That way, people who are level three, you know, are level level three can basically get more what access. Lance is saying is basically what Lance is saying is certified civilians are going to get more perms. Um, yep. like in sort of suggestions, there's things like slash carry and all that things that are e easily used by new members. Um, certified civilians are going to get access to that. It's a, a new layer of trust that we wouldn't previously have, and it, you know, helps us prevent abuse. No one's going to go through all that process becoming a certified civilian if they don't have the intent to actually roll play properly. Um, we'll have different tiers. It's different levels of trust. It's something we're going to work out down the line, but it's something that's coming back, um, very soon. So you know, we'll be picking people for certified recruitment and shit like that. Um, uh, I'm not sure, you know, what the kind of promotion process will be, I guess, but that's all things we're 
gonna work on down the line. It's just kind of informing you to come back. It's kind of a way for civilians to work on things because right now the civilians have nothing to work for. So I feel like if we put this in, we can get better IT with it. It would draw more players to our community, and I, 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 I personally feel it's it's better for the community if we got this, in my opinion. But that's just me. I was just te uh, management chatting. Oh, nice. um, so, kind of adding to that whole developer thing, we are going to be hopping onto another virtual private machine, or what's known as a VPS. We're, it's going to be coming out around Christmas time. We're going to change over that. We're going to have more resources than we have to do now. So, a lot of things will be added. So, please be sure to make use of the suggestion channel, let people know hey, you uh, use the suggestions channel, that way the developers have something to go over and choose between. That way they're not doing this by themselves and they have a little, suggest a little help. Um, in-game uh, in game changes, kind of the same thing as service, uh, server 2.0 kind of thing, getting a new VPS. Um, if you see some bugs or if you see anything like that, just report it to you know developers, stuff like that. Ran out of things to say. Um, I think we're gonna open up the, open up the let you guys talk a little bit too. See, get some Q and A. No, no. Can I talk now? Can I talk. Yes. Perhaps. Yes. All right. So staff, there will be a lot of changes this December. New people will come in. Please act professional. I have talked to many people right now with partnerships, with servers that has. 2k members or more and they're not an rp server that's a good thing because if we have an rp server with our partnership that will have trouble with players pair base so i've partnered with um few car car group members car group servers so hopefully we get in touch with them we get the partnership and hopefully we'll new people will start coming in. Advertisement. You can advertise a server anywhere you want. Advertise you want. You can invite your friends, people you want there. Don't Come get on. banned. Yeah, just don't get banned. Don't go spamming your... the server invite in random chats, please. Do not do that. Yeah. Just invite people that you like. They they they, they that you know that will um, you know improve the server invite people because currently now we have um if you invite people you'll get a reward for that right now so if i were you i'll start inviting people because 20 invites is two months of ap and 30 invites will one one vehicle pack one vehicle pack Easy as that. You're not going to be spending much money or not going to spend money. It's just invites. And like especially... Fox has no money. You, it's easy. Yeah. 100 invites. MK2 weapons. Easy as that. $40? So, say less. It's free. It's just invites. So if I were you right now and you have your Discord open, invite people that you know. Let them come in the server. So we can have more people more invites you can you can gain invites you can gain you know you can easily gain anything with invites all right so within lao side okay lao side for those high command listening right now i've encouraged you to have 30 plus members by the end of the month if you have done that right now or on your way to doing that there's a reward coming for you, okay? So basically right now, everything is a reward, okay? To encourage you guys to do some work, hard work, and do some stuff, okay? Not saying so, that you guys aren't doing hard work. Yeah, not saying that you're not doing hard work. This is just an encouragement for you guys to do something or do more because you're capable of doing it. Yeah. Yeah, no. To the just to the pe just just to the people, I command here. Okay. All right, that's all.
definitely like before we go to promotions we'll do the QA uh, Q&A um I just kind of want to say one more thing um to anybody who you know who thinks it's funny or shit like that to fuck with people or go around and you know disrespect people or cause any kind of backstabbing anything like that or in any way general just try to you know fuck up with people I'm just letting you know now, if someone comes to me about it again, and I'm not saying who and what's going on, but if I hear one more thing about somebody, you know, I'm going to report you so I, uh, so you get removed and they get a promotion. We're not going to do that anymore. That's not happening. Just letting you know now, if I catch you doing it, you're going to get your tag. I'm, I'm pulling all your tags. I'm not, you're not going to have your tags anymore. I'm going to blacklist you from the community. We're not going to keep doing this. How we lose members? That's how people get so teed off. They do stupid shit, like you know, try to try to hurt themselves or anything like that. Fucked up. Unprofessionalism is not allowed as a staff member. As a staff member, you're held to a higher rule standard than other members right you set an example for the rest of the players on the server your job is to enforce the rules which you should all know not break them because it's okay because you're a staff member right if you are caught breaking the rules which if you don't already know you know you're failing already if you're caught breaking the rules or failing to fulfill your duties as a staff member, you will be removed right away, okay? Because there's been way too many instances recently that people have been fucking around. It doesn't matter how many players are on the server, okay? Because anyone could join at anyone, anytime, or you could be spotted by anyone. Any form of unprofessionalism, breaking the rules, Trolling, messing around in general, you're just going to be terminated right away. Not even a demotion or a warning because it's happened so much recently that if you don't already know, what the fuck are you doing? To be honest, you know. Um, on top of that, like the server's a role play server. You're here for a reason. So role play. Um, and actually do it. You know, don't just don't think now that because you're staff or because you're whatever rank, where, whether it be junior mod or senior admin, you're still held to the same standard as everybody else. On top of that, to enforce, um, to improve the activity of staff, there is a new uh, activity requirement. All right. So I'll go ahead and I will post an announcement, but just to quickly run over um, senior admins are exempt from activity requirements where you must show a general level of activity both in game and in discord as you mo as most already know senior admin is more of a out of game kind of position focus on things like ban appeals um and you serve as you serve in the chain of command for other staff members so we won't push a requirement on your activity if you don't show general activity in game and in Discord, you're being demoted. Admins are required at least four hours in game every week. Um, whether this be doing staff duties, um, or you know, doing role playing and doing staff, which you know you should all be well able to do, um, you are required to be in game at least four hours a week. And mods and junior mods are six hours a week. Same goes for admins. Although if I were you, if you're a mod or a junior mod, I'd, you know, or even an admin, I'd be pushing a lot higher than these numbers. If you want any chance to move up in the ranks, you know, you don't want to just meet expectations, you want to exceed expectations, right? We can track your activity in-game every week. But we do have a system in place for that. So we'll start doing weekly checks on activity. Anyone who's not LOA or ROA and doesn't have a valid reason not meeting these requirements, once again, will be removed from the staff team.
okay you're here long enough you know what it's like if you're not here to do your job if you're not here to play the server leave because there's plenty of people who can fill the spot okay there's no need for you to not be able to put in at least six hours a week six hours is not a lot of time especially on a game which you enjoy playing because if you didn't enjoy playing it you wouldn't be staff on the server i'm good so we'll kind of open the floor for a q a thing um if you'd like to ask a question go ahead and raise your hand now we'll go in orders i see them and we'll all try to answer separate box box is always definitely all right, go ahead, Mr. Thomas. I'm going to throw Thomas because he's stop one. Stop. All right, go ahead, Mr. Thomas. Okay, so my question is, since, like, when I first joined staff, I just just a question. I had, since there's, like, no Clockify, how will other high staff members know our hours? So the panel in uh, for, I believe it's admin plus or senior admin, I forget off the top of my head, there is something called staff overview. Staff overview gives you access to the player's time and all uh, and all their kick spans, warrants. I think it does show how to staff notes, but I'm not entirely sure. If not, if we go to the old panel, it literally labels you inactive. And the only player that I remember top of my head that is here that doesn't have inactive in their name is Lane Ross. And there was one more that doesn't have inactive. Which, what it means when it says an active, I'm pretty sure, is your play time, the amount of time you've been in the server. Now, the way we kind of track it is we look at the days you join, and we're able to see how long you were on the server for, blah, 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 blah. That's kind of our general uh, our general tracking. Also, a lot of the times, high staffs in game. Me and Jackson are in the game mostly every day. Me, I'm on LOA until the end of the month. But I still, I've been getting in game to see, you know, who's on, who isn't. Okay, thank you for your time. No problem. All right. When, uh, hold on, I got it. Yeah. Go ahead, Mr. Ryan. It's not really a question, it's what I wanted to say. Um, so... When there's a lot of staff on and there's a lot of priors going on, just my opinion, I think there should be one staff member or two just watching like a 1080, make sure nobody's, you know, breaking the rules while they, you know, going off road, being doing stupid stuff. Because that's been slacking a lot too. And, and like, uh, other thing is like staff members, watching staff members like constantly. I've seen that. I'm not saying names, but... That needs to stop because I've been RPing before and I have been watched before. I'm not saying names, but it's just. I think one of the things that we've been very lenient on, and I, I think I forget to bring up most of the time, the highest staff member on is considered high staff, regardless of rank. So let's say, for example, um, Abernathy, Thomas, Williams, and James and Bailey are on. Or uh, the highest staff member would be James. He's a senior admin. Let's say uh, he sees, um, I think I said Bailey in there. He sees Bailey and um, Abernathy messing around, stuff like that, and not doing their job correctly. He can act as high staff and send a clip to me or Jackson, anything like that, and get you striped. All he has to do is tell us. They, uh, The highest person on it also... Can, is the only person who can change AOP, can change the uh, weather, change the day, blah, blah, blah. And if you want to change that, you have to request it from the highest on. If you're all a bunch of junior mods that are on, don't change anything. If there's a bunch of ju uh, junior mods on, don't change anything. Moderators, you're fine, mostly. But... Stupid AOP, but. Uh, but, uh. 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 But, uh.
just use your ju best judgment when your staff app is accepted or generally understanding of the fact that we you know you obviously look like you know uh, you know what you're doing and a lot of the times me and jackson will go ahead and let your staff app sit for a little bit because of the fact that we're going to watch over you we're going to ask your department heads we're going to ask people about you like for example thomas and i'm after pretty chill I, I believe I asked Abernathy about Thomas and vice versa. I think I asked both of them about each other. You get the ideas from the friends of either, uh, who the people they are. That way we know who we're going to bring on to the staff team before we even interview them. A lot of the times, high staff knows the answer to the question before they ask you. They just ask you to see if you tell the truth. But continuing on, we're going to continue with Q&As. Next one, I believe, is Pearson, right? I think it was Pearson. I'm going to invite Pearson up Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm sorry. You're a little quiet, uh, but yeah. All right. Well, I anyone who knows me lately knows that I have uh, audio issues. Uh, the wife said I can't buy a new headset, so I got to deal with it. Um. <laughs> anyways, uh, so basically, uh, my uh, question, uh, and I'll, I have two questions. Uh, first question um, is I... Well, this is slash a statement. I, I posted in staff chat, uh, maybe when I first was hired as staff or uh, maybe a couple of weeks after about, about, um, uh, about, by the way, sorry, I have a speech impediment. Um, basically, what is it? Um, advertising, uh, advertising, sorry, uh, advertising. So basically my question is that I uh, I brought up I uh, I know in my uh, in my department I brought up um, uh, advertising on uh, Facebook. Facebook is amazing. Uh, it works wonders. I'm uh, I personally I'm a member of um, a, a of a group. It's a uh, 5M uh, role play, and there's a couple thousand members. And you have uh, the only the only uh, the only uh, thing that I see on there is advertisements. Uh, so whoever I can't remember because you guys got a lot of people up here. I can't remember who is head of advertisement, but I'm. Um, cool. right, so, yeah, I'm. Um, so basically, I will definitely get you. Like, I will add you onto Facebook or do whatever, and I will definitely invite you to that. Um, uh, to that uh, page, there is at least a thousand people in there, and people are. I uh, and you also get. I um, I. Uh, I don't mean to take up time or anything, but you also get I, um, I uh, you get warnings about scammers, about people that uh, with devs and everything. You get warnings about scammers, uh, with um, uh, taking money or taking a script, and excuse my language for anyone that is uh, under the age of eighteen, but fucking up the script. Um, uh, they basically they will I uh, so you get a lot of warnings about anyone. Uh, or you get a lot of good uh, recommendations for people that uh, want to help. Uh, so I do suggest uh, you, Lance, to actually go and look into that. I will help you go and look into such thing. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm I'm pretty much the helper of this entire server. If you come to me and ask me for help, I will help you uh, as a moderator. I will help you the much I can, uh, the much I, as much as I can. Um, but and then another thing. Um, so basically. Uh, this isn't more of like a question, but more uh, like a statement, or I guess you could take it how it is. Um, not too long ago, um, I had an instance where I'm, I'm not going to name any names or anything like that, but I had an instance where there was a um, uh, where there was a kind of um, a misunderstanding on the um, on uh, the highest mod or the highest staff member, I should say. The um, and then uh, basically. Um, I ended up uh, changing the AOP because at that time I, I was the highest staff until I didn't really check the roster and that uh, or the the highest uh, or uh, the online players and I realized oh shit I'm no longer the highest and I changed the AOP. I had a um, couple people messaging me, uh, ripping me a new one about hey make sure you're not disrespecting other staff and I'm just uh, my I'm just trying to I like. And they, I've also had junior moderators come to me and stuff like that. Um, and I'm just like, I would much prefer the highest one person come to me and say, hey, um, this is what you messed up on. 
because I tried my best to not disrespect or anything like that. And I just saw, uh, I, I had at least four people messaging me uh, saying that, hey, uh, you done fucked up. And um, uh, when I changed the AOP to, uh, to a certain location. So I just wanted your guys' take on that and then figure out, um, I'm like, hey, like, what, like, I, you know what I'm trying to say. I, yeah, I don't yeah, know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting the gist of it. Pretty yeah. much, if when that happened, um, if you did mess up or whatever the instance was, the high zone should have informed, you know, high staff. Of course, we, I didn't even know about this, so obviously, um, there's nothing really. There's no, nobody's brought that to me now. Whoever talked to you, whatever, whatever, whatever. Send them, they're, they're supposed to let us know what's going on. I'm not sure who it was, like you said. Um, but anybody who's below, uh, below you or who wasn't really the highest on shouldn't have contacted you. Um, the way it should work is the highest on it should be the only one communicating to you about what's wrong or what's going on. Um, it just really depends. It's just a really situational thing. But whoever it was, just don't do that. Don't go into staff members' DMs and start saying bad things or anything like that like he said i'm not sure exactly the entire context like i said disrespecting another staff member a staff member versus staff member situation the highest on should be moderating it saying hey this shouldn't be going on take it to dms because in dms that's y'all's world i don't care uh, that's y'all's world at the same time don't do it if it's about out of life stuff or out of you know the server stuff like let's say that you and me and aaron Bump into uh, bump into each other on PGN and don't like each other on PGN. That's PGN's problem. That's not our problem. On an, in another area, that doesn't matter. But if it happens in DMs and it's in relation to uh, BCCRP, the situational, like I said, most of the time, most of the time it's fine. But uh, yeah. moving on. I um, yeah. I, I before I let someone else come up here because I am. I understand that um, there, I, I'm taking up a lot of time. I'm in the hands raised. But um, basically, to give you a little bit more context, um, I had a certain individual um, um, I put in admin chat. Um, hey, don't you disrespect a senior moderator? And I'm just like, I'm not disrespecting. Oh, what? I'm a senior, our senior admin. Okay, okay. look, oh. look, look. Pearson, and, uh, I think the biggest thing. Sorry, oh my God, choke. I think the biggest thing is you realize you messed up and no matter what anyone else said because that's not their place because they're not staff management and they're not in a position to punish you yeah. most important thing is you realized yourself that you'd messed up yeah that's the biggest thing and yeah and I, I apologize i am gonna cut you off though because yeah but i am gonna cut you off because we need to get through this fast. all right i understand yeah. thanks buddy all right who's next i must fuck right. off ross don't, don't, don't say that. All right, yeah, yeah. Um, Hey, so I have a question. So um, with what we were talking about, um, having the certified civilians, um, having different kind of ideas and stuff. Now, I have a few ideas of my own, and I don't know if you want it in support or if you want to just message. Suggestions. We might be... Suggestions? suggestions. I might make a staff yeah, suggestions. Yeah, yeah. That way, staff members can put suggestions that are separate from... The actual public that way in case like they want something super cool and they don't want people to know about it you can put it there whatever whatever that might be a thing i might make here in a bit like to recommend. if you have a suggestion you'd like to recommend as a staff member tag me or jones and staff chat or just dms yeah no i was thinking okay. even I, I was thinking even like the um civilian management team and stuff like that then, uh, go ahead and ping the next uh go ahead and ping the actual role yeah, we'll do. Alrighty, thank you. That's all. No idea. Uh, he was talking about Civ, Civ, uh, sort of offensive. Hold oh, on. Second time. Go ahead, okay. uh, Ked, talk to Thomas real quick. Hey, um, uh, uh, so random thing. Um, let's make uh, civilian management not only uh, only James, but Ryan too, so we can have two people. Fuck it. Ryan has been here a long time. He deserves it. Give it a okay. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Well, I, well, we're gonna do 
it in the uh, well, yeah, whatever. But more senior admins. We should do. We need. Let's move up. We are not moving to above. I do not care. We're not moving above. Why? No, not yet. Okay, that's no. kind of what well, it's, it's your job, but um. Williams is staying there. He's probably getting demoted. Um, shit. Uh, here I guess I have another quote waiting. Williams muted. 